Well, there's absolutely no doubt from the science of embryology that a new human life is created when the sperm and the egg unite. At that point, that new organism, it's initially called a zygote, and then when it develops into two cells and above, it's called an embryo. Once all the organs are formed, it's called a fetus. And once it's born, it's called a newborn, of course, and then it goes on through its extra uterine development. Well, it's very clear that that is a single organism from the time that the egg and the sperm unite that has a unique genetic complement and that all it needs, that small person, that embryonic person, all it needs is the proper environment, the proper nutrition in order to self-actuate its development. In other words, it does all it needs to do. It just needs to be in the right environment. So it's not just a clump of cells. A clump of cells would not self-actuate and continue to develop into a mature organism. And it's not just products of conception. It's actually a living human being because we know that every person has a soul and there's no way that anyone can argue that that is not a person that is not a unique individual or human organism.